Speaking of, you mentioned binding, and you've, we've, also, we've also been talking about scholarships. Now, applying on, and for binding early decision, I'll admit, I, I'm a little bit skeptical about that, given how it could affect scholarship money. So you could speak, yeah. could you speak a little bit to that? Uh, yes, there are some schools out there that have that binding uh, early decision. If you do get in and hopefully you get a scholarship, you're kind of, that's what you have. Um, the only way that I know of to sort of raise a scholarship amount is sometimes you can come to a school with your other offers and ask if they can, you know, adjust the scholarship amount. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, for Lubbock, we have a very low cost of living. We have a very low cost of tuition. So we can't necessarily match other schools, but you'll still end up with less debt coming through Texas Tech with our scholarships. Um, so we do have all the way up to full rides, but, you know, uh, but there are other schools out there who, uh, you know, once you're locked in, that is what you're going to get. Um, but some people do retake the LSAT even after being admitted to a school. And if their score goes up, that's a pretty good bargaining chip. Um, one of the things that a lot of students don't understand about the LSAT is it's not just about getting in. It's about getting scholarship money. You want us to pay you to come to school. Um, and in order for us to do that, every single point, I cannot stress this enough, on the LSAT is worth thousands of dollars. It could be the difference between getting denied, getting waitlisted, or getting in with no money, or getting in with thousands of dollars. So um, it's important for students to know that, but if you are in a binding situation, if you did get into a school and it was the school that you want to go to, you have to withdraw your applications from the other law schools. But if you didn't get the scholarship that you want, a good way to kind of have a bargaining chip is retake the LSAT for a higher score. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.